Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Virgo. Okay. We are going to use the Golden Tarot for your reading. Firstly, thank you Virgo for subscribing to my channel for all of your support. Truly appreciated. Um, if you find that the reading does not resonate with you because it is only a general reading so we are picking up on the I guess the bulk of the energy in the universe if it doesn't resonate then make sure you check out your natal chart um, and pay particular attention to your moon your rising or ascendant and your venus if it does resonate with you however <laughs> please make sure you give it a thumbs up and help me grow the channel if you are interested in a personal reading with me, doing classes with me or life coaching with me, I have some positions left in the life coaching at the moment, then please email me and I'll tell you how you can go about doing that and whether it's going to suit your needs. Um, oh, we have the lover's card jumping out on us here. Some sort of decision in love here. Um, you can always whip over to my Aussie Goddess Facebook page and like the page where you will be welcome to join us for uh, monthly mini reads. It also has all of my information pinned to the top of the page and how to contact me. All right, let's see where you're going this week, Virgo. Nice split. All right, there's a judgment card coming through. Okay, so the judgment card is a card that talks about rebirth. It talks about coming back from the ashes, rebirthing like the phoenix. It's the card in the tarot that comes right before the world, which is the closeout of a cycle. So it's the energy of reaching the end of something and moving into the next phase. That could be the next phase of your journey, the next phase of life. But something is closing out here in order for you to move through something new. When the judgment card comes out, it can also talk about something that we didn't deal with from the past coming back for a second round. It's like the ultimate judgment. I guess that's where it sort of is like the Bible in the being called, being called up from the dead to face what you haven't faced in this lifetime. But you are getting a chance to do it again here. Whatever it was, you didn't get it right the first time around. So the universe is saying now, you have another opportunity to get it right this time. Think about how you're doing this differently. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign here. Um, a Leo, Sag or Aries energy. The Queen of Wands can be a very fiery personality. She is very passionate about what she does. She's very determined and she's very attractive and beautiful to people that are around her, which makes her very charismatic and a great leader. She knows the direction she wants to go and she's very focused on what she wants to achieve here. You could be taking on this energy, Virgo. It could be that you want to be this energy. Maybe you're striving somehow with this sort of new opportunity to step into this energy a bit more. Maybe you feel that you've been sort of a little dulled in your shine and maybe you're feeling like you want to glow up. Let's have a look where it's going. All right, because there's some sort of offer coming in here. Okay, King of Swords coming through page of swords some of you could be this is really interesting energy you could be dealing with somebody you've just met here um, and I feel like you may be making a decision on whether it's the right direction to go in for some of you this may be somebody returning to you that perhaps you've known in the past or had a relationship with in the past because there seems to be some sort of communication coming in here and a change to a situation the Four of Swords will talk about taking time out here, but we have the Justice card coming through. There is an offer coming through to you from somebody that could have been from your past, but it could be past life energy, which often shows up at just past. Whoever this person is wants to have a new go round with you. They maybe want a second chance. They may want to rebuild on something in the past 
and you're being given an opportunity here to decide whether it's the direction you go in or not. Now, if you're taking on the energy of the Queen of Wands at the moment, it might be you want to go back to something yourself and try something new and different. Maybe you're finding some way to rebirth a situation or put some vit vitality into a situation that perhaps didn't go so well in the past. All right, let's have a look. So we have the Seven of Cups here. Now, the Seven of Cups for me is the Illusion, Delusion, Confusion card. It can come up as any of those things. They all mean the same thing in this card. They're just sort of like different ways of looking at it. So the idea is you're being offered a cup and you don't know what's in the cup. And it's like lucky dip. So you're looking at cups that all look the same, but everything has something different in. So if you pick a cup, you might not necessarily know what cup's going to hold what thing, which gives way to this whole idea of confusion. Sometimes when you're looking at the cups, it can be that the illusion is all the cups look the same, but in reality, they're all very different cups. Therefore, you have an illusion because you might be sort of you're, you're being coerced or drawn in to believe that something is better in the new cup that you're receiving. Um, which, of course, is about your own delusion. But the card itself talks of some sort of opportunity, some sort of option that you have to try something new, to try another cup. But you never know if the cup you get is the same as the other cups you've had or whether it's something new. It could be something better or something not so good. All right, we have the strength card. Okay, and we have the sun. Wow, some of you dealing with Leos here. Strong Leo energy. Eight of Swords, there is a lot of confusion around this. There is a lot of confusion about this cup because you're in the energy where this cup looks really, really good to you and you do not want to let it go. In fact, it's creating a great deal of stress wondering whether to take the cup or whether to leave it behind. With the Eight of Swords, we're very often trapped in our own mind and we're not really sure which way to go, which means we can get stuck overthinking something. These two cards tell me that there is some sort of inner resource that you have to activate here. There is something that you're not doing a certain way here that you need to look at differently. So maybe you're too stuck in your thinking to see what your options are here because there are lots of options and I feel like you're stuck choosing which option to go for. All right, let's keep going. We have, yeah, there you go, two of swords, <laughs> the tower. Okay, that's that hole. I'm going to poke you with a stick. It could be in regards to work here. It could be in regards to going in a particular direction because there's like this energy that you are stuck and unable to decide which way to go. And now I see the two of swords. I think you don't want to pick a way. This to me says, I don't want it. Like normally this card is blindfolded too in the traditional tarot. So you have two cards that show someone who's blindfolded and refusing to see a truth here truth you're hidden from some sort of truth you're not seeing a truth you're not seeing a truth that's the confusion here with the seven of cups something's coming to the light here with the tower card I have to say these are all major arcanas in the middle of your reading something is coming to light here with the tower Let's just keep going. We have the King of Wands coming through with the Three of Wands and the Five of Wands. Wow, a lot of passion, a lot of passionate energy, but I feel like it's misdirected somehow here. There seems to be some confusion about how to move forward. I feel like you're seeing something, you want to move in the direction, but the cup here is not really showing you what you're getting. It's almost like maybe you're offering a cup that's not true to what you're saying it is. Maybe it's you that's offering the cup. 
maybe you're not being true to who you are because your cup may not be showing your truth. There is some sort of energy here with this strength card and sun card around shining light on something. Seeing something for what it actually is because the tower's here. There's a need for you, you want, you're looking at the future, trying to make a decision about the future. And the universe is saying here, you're not seeing things here for what they actually are. You may be wanting to put some sort of work into something, or this may be a job you're seeing here. But there's this energy of not really seeing things for what they are, because there's a decision to be made. All right, let me dig a little bit deeper. There is some sort of rebirth coming out of something, quite possibly with someone who's fiery here. We do have the page of coins. So there's some sort of communication coming in. A lot of swords energy here. Some sort of change that needs to be made that might be quite difficult for you. But it's part of your journey here with the justice card. There's a karmic energy to this reading. It's like you're stuck in some sort of karmic cycle and you need to escape from it. It's like you're repeating a pattern, I feel, with that Seven of Cups. You're not seeing through some sort of illusion here. And it's got something to do with how you see yourself or how you see. There's the hanged man. Okay. I feel, Virgo, that you're being asked to dig a little deeper here. I feel like you're being asked to dig a little deeper. I feel strongly here you have some sort of decision you want to be you making, but it's like you're only looking at it from this sort of energy of an illusion or something, not being able to see deep enough into something because the tower's here. So there's an energy here with the strength, the sun and the tower that something within you needs to be seen differently. Maybe you've been doing something in a certain way and you're not actually seeing your own truth here because you're blindfolded here and unable to make a decision. Let's just see. The hanged man's here. And I'm clarifying with the nine of wands. Yes, some of you are stuck in some sort of cycle. The hierophant here. Not releasing something here. Not releasing something from your past. Okay. Something that you have learned, but you're still refusing to see it. You're still refusing to see some sort of truth here. When the universe is asking you to go and shed some light on this with the sun, it's something about your inner, inner core, inner strengths here. Old beliefs that need letting go of. There is a decision here that you are being asked to see through some sort of illusion here. It's causing you an inner conflict, but you're not seeing it for what it is. So there's a need for some healing here. There's some sort of pattern you're repeating with this nine of wands that's creating discomfort for you, but you're not seeing what it is. For some of you, you could be in a relationship where you're repeating some sort of pattern. But there's also this sort of energy of something from the past keeps repeating for you, but you're not listening or understanding what that means. Wheel of Fortune coming through with the Three of Cups and the King of Cups. Are you being truthful to yourself here? Are you trying to trying to keep yourself stuck in this look? It's like you're either keeping yourself stuck in some sort of energy here where you're not seeing the truth of something. I feel like with the tower here, the universe is going to show you anyway. I, when I pulled some clarifiers out for that, I got the Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Cups and the King of Cups. It's a possibility you're not seeing something here with this Three of Cups. Because sometimes this does represent more than one person in a relationship. 
But in this energy here, what I'm getting coming through a lot is that you're not seeing yourself the right way in relationships. Why is that? That maybe you have some sort of insecurity. Maybe you're a very loving and kind person, but you've got some sort of insecurity in your relationships that does not see you being true to who you are. Because they are asking you, I feel like you're being asked to work on your own energies here. There's something that you're just not seeing in the right way. Maybe you're not seeing love in the right way. All right, let's pull you an oracle card. That's a really deep reading there. You go right, really deep into that. But I guess it's different for everybody and I'm pulling in all the energies. So I may, might not necessarily. Ah. All right, we have the card of the cosmos coming through, which is card 41. The cosmos appears always as an ally and never a challenger. Creativity in all forms is represented by the cosmos. This is a sign to place your attention on creative projects. They will be successful. Remember that all of life is creative and you're always co-creating with the divine. The cosmos also represents the principle of infinity and the vastness of the energetic exchange of consciousness in influencing all living things. This teaches us that every intention we set is in fact contagious with the power to influence others. We're entangled at our deepest energetic places so we can help but so that we can't help but have an effect on others from an individual level to a global one. This is a sign for you to remind you to open up to the well of creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Both are influencing your outer world. Now that makes sense now. Most importantly, keep taking action towards your goals as the cosmos responds perfectly to manifest your highest destiny. Expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all that you create. I feel like this is a sign to remind you to open up to the well of creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Both are influencing your outer world. And I feel like this is what you are doing here. And the universe is asking you to have the strength and to shine something on these inner things that are pushing you in your world, that are controlling you to do things a certain way. And it could be around with the strength card and the sun card. This could be around your own insecurities, your own ways of doing things. There's something here you need to be aware of because what you are seeing is not what you're projecting. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.